My name is Gary Staub and I'm a paleo artist and it's my job to look at fossils and try and breathe life into them. This project that we're working on right now is kind of a unique one because we're trying to recreate a very familiar style of dinosaur, a big meat-eating tyrannosaur, very similar to T-Rex. And the surprising part of this thing is that it has feathers. My general philosophy about sculpting is trying to create an animal that's believable because so often we're looking at things that aren't familiar to us. Even the foam it all of a sudden turn, comes to life. Even, oh, it's actually just about the right size too. Maybe a little small. It's a huge effort from a lot of people to, to create this thing and it gets very exciting as you move towards the end and you see all of these different things being pulled together and then it starts to really look like something and you start to forget that it was once a piece of foam or was clay and it starts to look like an animal. From the tip of the tail to the base of the skull, we have essentially a quarter of a million feathers, 250,000 feathers, applied in small groups or individually all the way up. So it's uh, been an immense job for a big team of people. The feathers are really just, I would compare them to shingles on a roof, but that roof is huge and the shingles are tiny. You're not actually applying every single feather, but it is a lot of hot gluing, a lot of little burns to our fingers. <laughs> it's very tedious at times, but you kind of get in the groove of applying the feathers and you just go f all day and you see that you've made a lot of progress. put feathers on the surface of these animals, it really changes their appearance. And so I think because of these new finds in China, it really is changing the entire look of dinosaurs. And so it's an exciting time, but it's also a challenging time because we're sort of trying to catch up a little bit, figure out techniques for building feathers because a lot of these feathers aren't available, uh, I mean, as a modern feather. So we have to sort of make them The average museum visitor will spend less than two seconds on each object in a museum. So the fantastic challenge of that is to create something that will hold the view of a museum visitor for more than two seconds. So this particular model or sculpture, I hope, will keep people interested long enough to spend time with it was a familiar dinosaur, but now kind of flipping it on its ear aesthetically and looking at it in a completely different way.